Good evening, everybody. You're looking at Fairhaven Union High School basketball court where the Fairhaven Slaters warming up here on the floor tonight. And they have probably, I would guess, one of their biggest games, if not the biggest game of the regular season to this point in time. Fairhaven comes in here with a 9-7 and seven overall record. They are 3-1 and one in league play. And they have the great pleasure of hosting the number one team in Division II here tonight. So this is a highly anticipated basketball game as uh, Hartford is 15-1. and one. They are 5-0 and oh in league play. And uh, they have already uh, defeated Fairhaven once this season, but that was way back in the month of December last year, uh, December 27th. It was a 46-28 loss for Fairhaven. And then uh, Hartford, uh, actually, uh, I, I correct that, uh, was... Uh, that was Hartford's uh, only loss, was uh, back on the uh, 27th of uh, December. Uh, they did defeat uh, Fairhaven 77 uh, to 49. Actually, uh, no, it was 49 to, I'll get this straight here eventually. Just bear with me, folks, as I uh, have it written down. I'm having a little hard time reading my notes. Okay, Fairhaven and Hartford played back on the 13th of uh, January. That was a Hartford win. And it looks like it was a 49-35 win over uh, Fairhaven back on the 13th of uh, January. And uh, we have, uh, well, uh, Fairhaven since has uh, gone on a pretty good uh, healthy winning streak. They had a hard early schedule. And then uh, come into this uh, contest uh, uh, tonight, uh, basically uh, right around, I believe, sixth uh, place in the Division II standings. And uh, you have Hartford at number one, then Montpelier, North Country, Harwood, Otter Valley, uh, another one of our Rutland County Division II teams at 10 and four, then Fairhaven at nine and seven. Fairhaven did defeat Otter Valley 77 to 49 back on the 18th of January. So one of the teams that are ahead of them in the VPA standings at this point, uh, just uh, one up on them is uh, Otter Valley due to their better record at 10 and four, but a very good basketball team at Otter Valley. But Fairhaven beat them. Fairhaven has also uh, showed uh, real well against uh, the number four team in Division One, Rutland, as uh, they did uh, end up losing a match to Rutland, 55 to 50. But a very well played game by Fairhaven, and they are really uh, starting to uh, gel here at this point in the season in the month of February. Just when you need to do that, uh, we have Fairhaven, as I said, played an early schedule that was kind of a tough schedule. But uh, some of those losses came at the hands of uh, out of state teams, which we're not familiar with: Glen, uh, South Glens Falls, Glen Falls. Uh, Burn Burton Academy, uh, Virgins, and uh, those are some of the uh, early losses and then uh, have gone on a pretty good roll since. Hartford has been on a 10-game winning streak coming into this uh, gymnasium tonight. So I guess you get the idea there. Those, uh, that's uh, what we're looking at is uh, two uh, very good uh, basketball teams. Uh, Fairhaven is going to be a little bit different than that uh, team uh, they were a few weeks ago for sure as they had a convincing win over the Mammoth J. Mountie uh, Academy, uh, Mount St. Joseph Academy back in their previous game leading to this one. That's a presentation you can see on PEG TV as well. Very impressive win uh, by Fairhaven in that. So just a, a very good basketball team and they are going to give Hartford all they need tonight for sure as uh, we are continuing our pregame warm-ups. And let's uh, give you the Fairhaven roster. I'm going to run that down here as we uh, look out at the uh, court. Sam Kyhill. Number three, a freshman, Jack Almeida. Number four, a junior, Dylan Wetmore. Number 10, a senior, Jace Hetrick. Jace is uh, uh, going to wear number 11. He's a junior, Andrew Barker. Andrew's uh, going to wear number 12. He is a sophomore. Number 13 is Noah Woodbury. Noah's a senior, six foot forward. Joe Buxton, number 14. He's a senior at six foot five and a forward. Look for him to be very involved here tonight. Jack Spaulding, number 15, a junior at 5'11. He's listed as a guard, Adam Williams. Number 21, a junior at six foot, Ethan Haggerty. Ethan's uh, gonna wear number 22. He's a junior, six foot forward, Tim Kendall. Number 23, senior, 5'8 guard, Santiago Benitez. Number 24, a junior, 5'10 guard, Max Kyhill. Number 30 and a junior, and Phil Bean. He's number 32, and he is a junior at six foot four and a forward, and uh, I'm sure he'll be very involved uh, tonight as well. As uh, We've covered a few of the uh, Fairhaven contests so far this season against Bellows Falls, Mount St. Joseph Academy. And a uh, very good night uh, that uh, MSJ night was for uh, Phil Bean and also against uh, Bellows Falls as well. Here's the Hartford High School uh, boys. Let me swing my camera around here as they uh, warm up uh, on the floor to our right. And as we look at them, we're going to run down their roster. The head coach, by the way, varsity head coach, 
is Luke Vadness for Fairhaven. His assistant coaches are Jason Venezia and DJ Perry, JV head coach Ken Webb. For Hartford High School, Sam Dutton wears the number zero. He's a, a senior guard. Brody Tyberski, Brody's a senior, he's a forward. Evan Linz, he's a senior, a guard. Christian Hawthorne, or Hawthorne, he's a senior, he's a guard. Cole Foshan, and Cole is a sophomore, a guard. Braden Trombley, he's a senior, a forward. Zach Johnson, a senior, a forward. Uh, Aodala Lowe, Aodala Lowe is a junior, a guard. Noah Daniel, he's a sophomore, a guard. And Ryan Murphy, a sophomore, a forward. The head coach is Mike Goddett, and his second year as assistant coach is Austin Goddett in his uh, second year as well. So there you go, the uh, roster for both of these teams, the coaching staffs, and I believe we have uh, a list of our officials there getting ready to referee this uh, basketball game tonight. That's Mark Lambert over there. You can see across the way on the left, we have Jeff Poole is uh, the other official standing there with him, and we have one more, which I can't uh, see him on the court here at the moment, but uh, his name is Mark Lambertoni. All right, I believe that's pronounced Liberdoni. So there you go. Those are your three officials. Warm-ups continue here at uh, Fairhaven uh, High School. And as we said, one of the highly anticipated games of, of the season. Anytime you have the number one team on the floor. And as we said, this uh, Hartford team on a 10-game winning streak, 15-1, and one, just one loss that they've uh, suffered so far this uh, season. Had they've defeated Fairhaven once already, but I can't say how uh, much I'm impressed uh, by the uh, Fairhaven Slaters and how their game is uh, really a good looking game. And I, I'm gonna be sure this is probably, or sure this is gonna be one of the better uh, basketball games of the season. It's, well, hopefully that's what we have uh, here tonight. And uh, Hartford, as we said, just uh, suffering that uh, one loss, and that's what I was going to say earlier. That happened on the, the 27th of December. That was uh, their only loss, and then uh, ended up uh, going on a 10-game winning streak to this uh, point in the season. So uh, the warm-ups uh, continue here on the floor, and uh, a congratulations to the uh, Fairhaven JVs winning the earlier game prior to this one. That was 51-32. Fairhaven win over Hartford. So that is uh, what we are looking at here as our pregame continues and uh, the game introductions on the floor will be happening shortly.
Okay, there we've had it, the uh, singing of our national anthem, the pregame introductions here on the floor of our starting uh, fives for each of these uh, two teams. This is a breast cancer awareness night here at Fairhaven, so a very nice night. Uh, and uh, we've got all the gang across the way with their uh, pink colors on uh, here tonight. Proceeds uh, from this event, some of the uh, proceeds are going to fight uh, breast cancer and breast cancer Awareness night here again at uh, Fairhaven High School. Right. We're ready to go, and Joe Buxton's going to jump it up here in center circle, and it looks like uh, Cole Foshin uh, will be wearing the number four, uh, jumping it up in center circle here for Hartford. Quite a height advantage uh, there for Buxton. Buxton is uh, six foot four. Certainly got a couple inches on his uh, opponent there in the uh, center circle off the opening tip. Going to be controlled here first by the Fairhaven Slaters. So they'll set up with it. Jack Almeida, top of the circle, works it around over to Sam Cahill on the right side. And Fairhaven trying to get a ball down underneath baseline, looking inside to get it to Buxton. And looks like he hit that baseline. So that's going to be an out-of-bounds. Goes back now to Hartford. Hurricanes down the floor with it at their end of the floor. Top of the circle, it's uh, low, low with it. Ayadel Lowell. We have a foul underneath. That is going to be an offensive foul. So it's Braden Trombley picking up the first foul of our ball game. Right back to Fairhaven. Full court pressure coming from Hartford. So the Hurricanes now in defensive uh, pressure back at their end of the floor. Fairhaven working the ball around that perimeter. Buxton inside right over to that right corner. Got a three-point shot. There's Ball underneath, trying to get the, uh, Phil Bean put the shot up there underneath. Outside it was Sam Cahill on that long shot. Couple of tries for Fairhaven, no bucket. Lowe putting up the shot the other end of the floor. And Buxton, nice job getting the rebound here for Fairhaven. Buxton over the half court line. Ty Hill to Buxton. Over in that uh, left corner it goes. Andrew Berker in there on it. That is going to be a foul apparently on uh, Fairhaven. So Phil Bean will pick up his first personal foul. And we'll have the uh, ball inbounded here and just in front of us by Hartford. Shot top of the Hartford circle put up by Christian Haythorn and misses. And it looks like it's going to be an out of bounds there at the baseline. Fairhaven will inbound it. Hathorn missing that shot and Kai Hill over the half court line with it. That's Jack Elmida, those two guys out top here for Fairhaven. Trying to set up the offense. Phil Bean finishing it off. It was an outside shot initially. Jack Elmite had a wide open shot, went halfway down and came back out. And then Phil Bean doing what he's been doing re real good here in the last few games, getting that rebound right back up for the two. Two nothing, that's our first basket of the ball game. Took us about three minutes to get it with that one coming with about 5.20 left to go here first quarter. Good defensive play here so far. Both of these teams trying to get a feel for each other. There's a drive inside to the Hartford basket. And Brody Tyberski going in with a left-handed shot underneath for the two. That's Hartford's first bucket. Coming with 5.06 left to go. It took them three minutes to get that. We're tied at two apiece. Sam Cahill top of the circle here for Fairhaven. Over in that right corner, we get a shot put up. Three-point try by Barker. Misses. And the rebound coming down to the Christian Hathorn. Aodell Love. 
or Lowe actually, I'm sorry. Lowe is his last name, Lowe with it. Right back to Lowe, Lowe taking it to the basket. And finds a lane in, goes in for the right-handed shot. Left side of the basket underneath. Little underhanded shot there too. Good looking shot, makes it 4-2 Hartford. And we'll have a foul. And that not good for Fairhaven. That's Phil Bean just picked up his second personal foul. So he is uh, key in the Fairhaven lineup. Picks up number two here with 425, just half the first quarter gone. So I'm going to guess he might be coming out of there. We'll see. He is their big guy getting it done underneath. And just got his second personal foul on him. 425 left to go here in the first quarter. And it is 4-2. to two. Hartford up on top. Aodell Lowe with it. There's a loose ball picked up by the Slaters. All right, that's going to be a foul here. It will be against uh, Hartford. Cole Foshin picking up that foul. And Fairhaven Sam Kaihill will be inbounding it here at the baseline. Buxton for a three-point try top of the circle. Going to miss that. And the rebound coming down to Trombley for Hartford. There's Lowe driving underneath. Gets cut off. Picks it back outside. There's going to be a shot down low underneath by Tyberski. Brody Tyberski shot off the rim. No good. Sam Kaihill rebound. Good fast break attempt down the floor here for Fairhaven. Ball knocked out of bounds. That was number 10, Dylan Wetmore. Got a last touch on it. Got a touch on it. Not the last one because Fairhaven has it back. So that is an out of bounds off Hartford. Fairhaven showing some nice patience right here. Zone defense they are facing as we get a shot Wetmore and that one off the rim. No good. Took a good shot. Had a good look at it. Dylan Wetmore not going to get a go. And low with it now after the rebound. Low setting up the offense here. Hartford end of the floor. Got loose for a moment there, picked up by Braden Trombley. Trombley taking it to the Hartford basket for the bucket. Makes it 6-2 Hartford with that basket. 2.45 left to go here in the first quarter. Kai Hill outside shot attempt from three point range, misses that. Rebound Hartford down the floor, they get a shot off. Three-point attempt, deep left corner by Hathorne, misses the bucket. And rebound Fairhaven, pressure by Hartford. Fairhaven right down the floor, nice transition. Wetmore coming in left side of the basket at the baseline. Easy two off the glass, nice assist there from the half court. And it is 6-4 now. Hartford by two, first quarter action. The number one team, Hartford on the floor here. There's a traveling violation. That's low, trying a little spinning move in the paint there. They get him for the travel violation, and we see Hartford going right back to full court pressure right here as Fairhaven inbounds the ball with 2.03 left to go in the first quarter. Here's Sam Kaihill coming down the floor with it. Gets it over right side line to Buxton, right back to Kaihill. Those two guys going back and forth over in that right corner. There's a good open look at it. Shot by Barker up, no good. Rebound coming down now to Tyberski. And I think Coach Vadness wanting a timeout. I believe it was a fair haven time. No, nope, take that back. That was taken by the uh, Hartford coach. So Hartford wanting that timeout down the floor. Head coach is Mr. Mike Gaudet in his second year. And uh, Austin Gaudet, his uh, assistant, in his second year as well. So there's the uh, Hartford team right in front of us and the coaching staff. Pretty evenly played uh, first quarter, at least to this point. 
It's uh, moving by very quickly as we have 140 left to go here in the first quarter. It's Hartford six, Fairhaven four. Hartford's going to inbound the ball across the way here, the other side of the court. So Hartford getting ready to do that. Braden Trombley, the inbounder, ball in play for Hartford. Oh, good job. Max Kyhill pressuring the ball right there, and so is uh, Barker for Fairhaven. They knock it loose. Slater's come up with it. Now that's Buxton with the top of the circle. He gets it over to Sam Kyhill. Sam will get everybody in position here, reset that offense. There's Buxton over in that left corner. Zone defense you're looking at here from Hartford. Back to Kyhill, top of the circle. They'll try the right side. Back over to Barker. Back to Kyhill. Back over to Buxton. Left side. Buxton coming in baseline. Got challenged right there, no foul on the play. It's Brody Tyberski, number one that came up on him. I thought he got a little close there, but no call. And it's an out of bounds. Back to Fairhaven with 44 seconds. No, that's 40, 49 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. Max Kyhill will be the inbounder for the Fairhaven. Good quick ball movement by Fairhaven going right to the basket. You get a shot to attempt by Barker, misses over in the left corner at the other end of the floor. That will be our first three pointer of the ball game. That's Cole Foshin that just hit that bucket. Slater's working that zone or against that zone defense, trying to get things to open up here a little bit. They work it inside. Nice job. Underneath, you get a good reverse layup uh, try. And second one, Wetmore hits that bucket. At the buzzer, no less. So working real hard. Dylan Wetmore in there. Fairhaven will get the last basket of the first quarter. And a very good first quarter defensively there as we have Hartford, as you see, up on top. The visitor leading by a score of 9-6. And really a packed house. This gym filled up very nicely here for this game. Much anticipated, as we said. Hartford, the number one team in Division II. They brought a 15-1 overall record into this gymnasium here tonight. They have gone undefeated in uh, league play. They come here at 5-0 uh, oh overall. They have played some uh, mutual opponents uh, here. But it doesn't really matter, I guess. You get to this month of February, Fairhaven's game uh, really is coming together here very nicely. A tough early schedule, as we said, and uh, then they've been on a pretty good uh, winning streak. Tonight, Breast Cancer Awareness Night here at Fairhaven. So the crowd across the way doing their part, all dressed up in pink here for Breast Cancer Awareness. All right, we're ready to go here. Eight minutes up on the board for the second quarter. If you're just joining us, 9-6 Hartford leading Fairhaven. And we are underway. Hartford uh, will inbound to start our second quarter. <laughs> Whistle and a foul. Initial shot taken by Sean Dunton. Then a foul in the rebounding effort. Is it? And they have Max Kyhill snapper up on the board, so he'll get the foul for Fairhaven, our first cut foul of the second quarter. Dunton will be the inbounder here for Hartford. Ball comes back top of the circle. That's Foshin setting up. Bounce pass in the middle underneath. Max Kyhill got that ball, got the pass, and then was fouled from behind. 
So that will be a Hartford foul, and that one is going to go on Ryan Murphy. Good uh, heads-up defensive play there by Max Cahill. Fairhaven will have it to inbound. Full court pressure again coming from Hartford. Let's go, All right, ball inbounded by the Slaters. They easily break that pressure over the half-court line. Up, oh, Sam Cahill running into a little trouble here. We might have a backcourt here. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Kai Hill went to the floor with it, tried to pass it back to one of his teammates. It went over the half-court line. I think Jack Hill might have knew that, just kind of let it go. If he touched it, a backcourt violation he goes out of bounds at the sideline. Hartford has it back. Hurricane basketball in play. Shooter top of the circle doing a good job following that up. <laughs> All right, ball inbounded and it's by Hartford. Evan Linz put that shot up, misses. Noah Daniele taking another shot. Linz underneath goes back up with it. So good uh, defensive pressure, good staying with the uh, basketball. Offensively, uh, there for Hartford, they get the two. Oh, a beautiful shot right there. That was uh, Dylan Wetmore hit that one. Harford working it in underneath the Dunton. Sean Dunton shot no good. Buxton right there for the rebound. All over the half court line. We have 5.28 left to go here in the quarter. Jack L. Might at top of the circle. Sam Kyhill, the two guards for Fairhaven, setting up with it. 11 to 8 is our score. Hartford has led from the opening moments. They hold that three point advantage. Buxton, top of the circle, ties a three in and out. And rebound coming down to Zach Johnson. Outlet pass uh, down the floor, trying to find Lynch. Another big bucket there by Hartford. Little floater there by Kai Hill over the rim, no good. Rebound Johnson. Down the floor, Daniele. And it's going to be inbounded here by Hartford. So they get ready to inbound it. It'll be Christian Hathorne that will be the inbounder. Three-point try put up by Evan Linz, misses. Fairhaven with a rebound. That's Almeida down the floor. Almeida, great move, right to the basket. Defender went the other way as soon as he had that room. He took off right to the basket, hit a beautiful shot. Off the glass for the two. 14-10, Hartford by four. Hurricane basketball over on the far side of the floor. Bounce pass in the paint. That's a loose ball picked up. Good Fairhaven defense. Here's Almeida down over the half-court line. Over to Wetmore in the corner. Wetmore's shot going to be a little bit off. And it is picked up uh, underneath. Getting the rebound was Phil Bean. Bean tried to go back across the perimeter there, across the paint. Baseline pass to Wetmore. That one knocked uh, out of bounds. So that happens with 3.54 left to go here in the first half. Very low scoring affair here so far in the half. 14 to 10 is our score. Right to the free throw line, Evan Linz. Senior guard has an open shot, 15 footer is good. 
16-10 now, Hartford. Jack Almeida over the half court line. Now to Phil Bean over on that right sideline. Bean getting some trouble, they get a double team on him. Now to Wetmore over in the corner, right back to Bean, inside of the paint, goes strong to the basket, puts up the shot, misses. Wetmore the rebound, back up with the floater, misses that, tips it over to Bean. And Bean trying to get possession control of the ball, he's tied up on the floor. And I think we're gonna get a jump ball call out of that. So very tenacious defense from Hartford, but Fairhaven staying right with it. Now a bunch of new substitutions coming in here for Hartford with 3.13 left to go here in the first half. 16 to 10. This is a defensive battle we are looking at uh, here tonight. Sam Kai Hill top of the Fairhaven circle over to Jack Almeida. Over to Wetmore on the right sideline. Ball comes back out on top. Fairhaven just working the ball, being patient here, working that offense. Got a 2-3 zone we're looking at, 2-1-2 zone that we are looking at coming from Hartford. Two thirty-six showing on the clock left to go in the half. Fairhaven taking their time here. And Buxton driving hard to the basket is going to get the offensive foul. And that coming with 2.26 left to go here in the first half. Fairhaven back waiting on uh, defense, and the ball will be inbounded here by Hartford. That's low with it for Hartford into the free throw line. Bounce pass is gonna be kick, should be a kick. That bounce pass was off one of the uh, foot of the uh, Hartford player. Or maybe Fairhaven, anyway, it's out of bounds. It'll be uh, Hartford keeping it, so they'll inbound. Low will be the inbounder. All on, that, on that one, that's gonna be three. That's Cole Foshin, a sophomore guard that Hits that big bucket for three. Been a while since we've had a basket here. Fairhaven trying to get it now over the half court line. This is Almeida. Sam Kaihill out on top, uh, just over the half court line, helping him out. Low, giving him all kinds of trouble. Almost a steal there. Wetmore taking it in. Nice baseline floater by Wetmore. Makes it 19 12 with that bucket. A minute 39 left to go here in the half. Shot inside by Tyberski, a little bit off balance on that one. Didn't quite make it up there and rebounded by Fairhaven. Deep left corner shot by Almeida. That was Almeida, Jack Almeida that took that shot for Fairhaven. In and out, rattles the rim and we have a timeout. So we have a minute 14 left to go here in the first half. And a very low scoring affair here, kind of a surprise actually. 19 to 12, Fairhaven managing just 12 points here in this first half so far. But the other night we saw a lot of offense out of them against MSJ and then a week prior previous to that against uh, the Bellows Falls Terriers, they put up 55 points against uh, a very good Division I team, a Rutland High School. That ended up being a loss. but certainly capable of putting up some points. I, should, I said 55, they put up 50 points. They lost 55 to 50 in that game. So, but uh, definitely they got some scores between Buxton and Phil Bean and Wetmore and everybody else involved in there. All right, so another minute here on the clock here, minute 14 left to go here in the first half. The Hartford uh, Hurricanes will be out on the floor here first in their red and white uniform, lots of color on the Hartford side. Fairhaven wearing their white jersey here tonight with blue lettering. And we'll swing the camera around here to the other end of the floor, and there we are. Ball inbounded by Hartford. Fairhaven back waiting on defense. And 
And get the ball right back to Lowe. Lowe will back out with it. Calling out play signals, setting up the offense here. And work the right side here. Wetmore right there defensively. Max Kyhill down low, trying to defend against the shot. Does a good job. Tybersky put up the shot. Loose ball. Buxton tying it up there, and so is uh, Tybersky. And the official right there to call that jump ball. That brings us to 45 seconds left to go here in the first half. And we'll see who the possession is here. Looks like it's going to stay at this end of the floor, so it'll be Hartford inbounding. They lead Hartford Hurricanes 19-12 to over Fairhaven here, approaching the end of the first half. All right, good job, Max Kyhill. Also underneath, you had Cody Buxton right there. Good defensive pressure, a tie-up of the basketball. Jump ball signal, possession, Fairhaven. So Hartford back to the full court press. And Fairhaven will hold off on that as they try to bring it over the half court line. Had little trouble with his press here so far. Almeida to Kyhill. Kyhill right back over to Almeida. Got an open shot there, drives into the paint and passes over in that left corner. I think that'll be out off Fairhaven, it looks like. All right, so there's the situation. We have 27.2 seconds left to go here in the first half. 19 to 12, Fairhaven varsity down here by seven points. see on the wall Slater Nation that is where we are at and there is Slater Nation over there breast cancer awareness game here almost at the uh, first half the time out here on the floor just about over with and we are ready to go it'll be inbounded by Fairhaven so the Slater's Max Kyhill going to be the inbounder and Lowe intercepts that inbounds pass intended for Buxton Lowe just over the half court line with it excellent ball handling skills by Lowe Backs out to center circle. Down to 14, gonna be a last shot. They are setting up for, oh, let's see, we got a steal here, almost, and Max Kyhill knocked it loose, Lowe got it back. Passes over the half court line into the left corner, that will be our buzzer shot, nope. Well, there's the buzzer. Well, our last shot, Braden Trombley took that last one from that left corner. Got a good look at it, but good defensive pursuit there by Fairhaven and that will end our first half so at the end of one half we have Hartford 19 and Fairhaven 12 hey, how's it going? Good. all right we are ready to start our second half Hartford out on the floor here come the Fairhaven Slaters and our score if you're just joining us is we have a 19 to 12 and it is Hartford up on top. Hartford came here, the number one team in Division II basketball. And they are in the lead by seven points as our second half now underway. There's an immediate drive right to the basket. That's Braden Trombley that just hit that bucket. Makes it 21-12. Nine-point advantage. Biggest lead of the ball game here for Hartford. Fairhaven just trying to get some... Offense going here. Very tenacious defense they are looking at here tonight from this uh, Hartford team. They just have not been able to hit some shots as Jack Almeida putting up a shot. Misses Fairhaven. Nice uh, rebound there by Phil Bean. That's actually Barker put up the shot. That was inside uh, shot right hit there. Crowd loves that one. And there may be a foul on that. Phil Bean got fouled. That's the inside game they've been so successful at in the last few games that we've seen. And uh, Phil Bean fouled. Possibility at a three-point play. That foul is going to be on Christian Hathorne. And Bean with a chance to make it a three-point play. All right, that is out off Fairhaven. Hartford inbounds. Hurricane end of the floor. Ah. 
Hartford working their inside game back to Trombley. There's Buxton there with the rebound on the missed shot. And that is what Fairhaven needed right there. Andrew Barker hitting a beautiful shot. Three-point play that is. Makes it 21-17. Four-point advantage, Hartford. Fairhaven trying to get going offensively here, and that definitely helps. Good ball movement. Cole Foshin putting up that three-point shot, missing. Underneath, we see the ball going out of bounds. And that will be out off Hartford. So they point uh, Fairhaven's way. Fairhaven will be inbounding it. 21-17, Hartford by four. 6.23 left to go, third quarter action. Ball over the half-court line, double team on the ball. Fairhaven manages to get it over in that right corner, get a shot to put up. And a miss, that's Barker, took that three-point attempt. End-to-end -end drive to the basket. And big Brody Tyberski going in there. With that layup underneath, underhanded shot, makes it 23-17. Still the pressure coming from Hartford. Barker now, they go inside to Phil Bean. Back out Kai Hill. Good ball movement over in that left corner. That will be a three on that basket right there. I believe that was... Uh, Almeida that hit that basket, that three for Fairhaven. Makes it a three-point ball game with that shot. Ball getting away from low, going out of bounds. We'll wait for the possession call. Looks like it's going to stay with Hartford. Dylan Wetmore coming back into the ball game. Sam Kai Hill will go out, and the ball will be inbounded here by the Hurricanes at their own baseline. That's low with it now. Hawthorne going to put up a three-point shot and hit that bucket. Makes it 26-20. Shot cleanly blocked. Barker put up that shot blocked from behind. No foul on the play. Low down the floor with it. Low taking it to the basket. He gets fouled. He should be going to the line to shoot here. <laughs> All right, so the foul is going to be on Joe Buxton for Fairhaven getting his second personal foul. And a low, a low will be on the line to shoot. Aodell Lowe for Hartford. Junior listed as a guard on the roster. Very good ball handler he is. Gets one more free throw coming. Phil Bean high in the air to pull down that rebound. Good job on the boards by Bean. Three-point try by Buxton over there on that left side. Misses, rebound coming down now here to Hartford. And nice fast break down the floor. Layup try missed by Trombley. Fairhaven, same thing. Good ball movement down the floor. Hartford getting back quickly on defense. Buxton tried to pass it over to Wetmore. That one's uh, intercepted. It'll be a steal. Foshin taking that one away. That's Foshin with it. Just over the half-court line, top of the circle. Gets it over to Lowe now. We come to 4.08 left to go here, third quarter. Low over on that left sideline to Hathorn. Now into the free throw line, Tyberski with it. Left corner shot by Trombley is up, comes off the rim. Almeida with the rebound here for Fairhaven. Slater's Almeida driving right side, passes over left side. Nice drive into the basket. Underhanded shot, there'll be a foul there. That's Andrew Barker going strong to the basket. And Hartford's Christian Hathorne will pick up the foul. Barker will be on the line. Barker will shoot two. Andrew Barker, a sophomore at six foot two for Fairhaven, on the line to shoot two. And as you see right there, beautiful form, a nice uh, free throw right there on that. With that basket, it's a five point ball game. It's Hartford 26, Fairhaven 21. Fairhaven now 22. Four point advantage, Hartford. Hurricanes' Sean Dutton coming into the ballgame. 
And Lowe is coming out. He's their main playmaker, main ball handler. He'll sit down for a little bit. Jack Almeida up there to meet the ball defensively. Ball brought over the half-court line here by Hartford. Drive to the basket, Brody Tyberski. Going in with that little jumper from three, four feet out. Makes it 28-22, uh, hitting that basket. Full court pressure coming from Hartford. Fairhaven easily breaking that over the half court line. And get it back to Buxton now. Wetmore driving in baseline. Get kind of a bad angle on that. Did get off a shot though. Tyberski with the rebound. And big bucket by the Hurricanes right there. Christian Hawthorne, senior guard, going to make it 31-22 with that bucket. Back to a nine-point advantage. All right, Fairhaven managed to work that down. They were at a three-point ball game the early part of this third quarter. Got a good little run going. Now you're seeing a little bit of a run by Hartford here as they get back to that nine-point advantage. 31-22. And Coach Vadness wanting a timeout here on the floor. And there's the crowd across the way at Fairhaven High School on Breast Cancer Awareness Night here. And as we said, a full house crowd on hand for this one. A much anticipated game this season. Hartford right now, and we're in the month of February, February 6th, and uh, just a couple of games left in the regular season, winding down in a hurry in the next couple of weeks. And this is the number one team that Fairhaven is uh, playing. Fairhaven's had a nice run here in the last uh, several weeks after some early losses, but just hitting their stride. They're having a little trouble offensively here tonight. But still a long way to go here as we're in the third quarter. As you see, 2.49 left to go here in the third quarter. Timeout just about over with, and we'll have Fairhaven's Joe Buxton right here in front of us here inbounding the basketball. We'll be underway in just a second here after the timeout. All right, ball in play. Oh, good good uh, ball movement by Fairhaven. They get it inside to Phil Bean. Bean doing his job inside, trying to get, and did get a shot off, but I think he just collected a foul. He did. So after he missed the shot, tried to get the rebound and commits the foul. That's his third personal. With 320 or 225 left to go here in the third quarter. Loose ball in the Hartford paint collected there by Ty Bursky. Working real hard there was Trombley, but neither are going to get a shot to drop in there. Fairhaven with the rebound. Slater possession. Taking their time here, looking for the right opportunity. Looks like a man-to-man -man defense we're looking at here by Hartford. Barker now to top of the circle it goes. That's Buxton with it. time coming off the clock this possession Andrew Barker taking that three point try and over the half court line stolen by Wetmore and works it into Barker Barker going into for a shot double teamed and one of those guys going to get a foul that's going to be Braden Trombley I believe they called number 10 out so that'll be Trombley's second foul so we will be on the line to shoot two and we'll have Andrew Barker on the line Barker's going to shoot two Andrew Barker, just a sophomore for Fairhaven. Six foot two guard, put some good minutes in here tonight. Continues to do that, hitting that bucket right there. These foul shots stopping our clock with 119 left to go in the third quarter. Phil Bean right there tipped it. Let's see if Fairhaven can keep it. They do, Wetmore coming up with it, gets a shot off. 
A lot of activity in there after the missed free throw. That's set up by Phil Bean. Wetmore shot is deflected or missed shot out of bounds. And no, we're going to have a foul on that play. All right, so I missed that one. Wetmore got fouled. Zach Johnson will get the personal foul. And Dylan Wetmore will be on the line to shoot too. So a good opportunity here for Fairhaven. Thirty-one twenty-four with that free throw. Ball coming down into the front court here for the Hurricanes. Well, the missed shot there by Hathorn, but great uh, defensive uh, effort, great effort there by Wetmore for Fairhaven. Got the rebound, got it knocked away from him, out of bounds off Hartford, back to Fairhaven with 48 seconds left to go here in the third quarter. Huge bucket, Wetmore, the other end for three from that left corner. That tightens things up a good, good bit there. 31-27, four-point ball game. Coming to the end, and 19 seconds left to go here in the third quarter. Hartford working the ball inside, working hard there. Brody Tyberski was off in the paint. Defense was good there. This, he got the shot. Phil Bean, the other end of the floor, goes up for the shot, misses. And a foul, Phil Bean will go to the line to shoot. Fairhaven looking for that inside game and uh, there will be a foul and that will be on Zach Johnson. Zach will pick up his second foul. That's the 1.8 seconds left on the clock. So Bean with a chance here to get some more points on the board before the third quarter expires. Bean makes the second one there. It's a long down the court pass. Let's see here. We're going to hear the buzzer. And the uh, player for Hartford that caught it down there slipped. Christian Hathorn slips on the floor. And then the buzzer goes off. And that ends the third quarter. So there you go. At the end of three quarters, it's Hartford 33, Fairhaven 28. The eight minutes up on the board for the fourth quarter coming up. All right, so nobody leaving this one here. So we have fourth quarter ready to go, a five-point ball game. Anybody's ball game here tonight. Much anticipated varsity matchup from two of the top teams in Division II. One of the, Hartford is the top team at 15 and one coming to this gymnasium tonight. But uh, very good Rutland County basketball teams. Otter Valley sits in uh, fifth place here as we speak. Fairhaven right behind them. Everybody looking for a good spot in the postseason coming up here just a few weeks away from the end of the regular season. All right, Fairhaven looks like they'll be inbounding to start this uh, fourth quarter. That's Joe Buxton over there. That is going to be uh, inbounding. That's Kai Hill right there. He gets it inbound too, and we are underway. Fourth quarter. So crunch time here for both of these teams.
That's Joe Buxton is going to be called for an offensive foul. He was working with it there on the top of the circle. Must have pushed off. That's his third personal foul. There's a steal by Fairhaven. Nice job, Jack Almeida. And just goes in there and uh, picks the pocket of Evan Linz. Takes it right to the basket for the two on the layup. Great job. 33-30 now. Three-point ball game. Hartford's uh, uh, Brody Tyberski going in for a shot. That was blocked cleanly by Joe Buxton. Out of bounds. Hartford keeps it. Good defensive job by Buxton there. Loose ball picked up there at the half court. Little floater put in by Sean Dutton. And then Hartford wanting an immediate timeout here on the floor. So that uh, will happen here as we have 6.57 left to go here in this basketball game. And the Fairhaven Slaters right there playing, playing a little catch up here in this basketball game. They've trailed the entire ball game since the opening moments, but not by much. They've been down for by double digits and then uh, got back within three. Now they are within five in the fourth quarter. Let's go, Rick! 35-30 is the score. Hartford up on top. First time these two met, it was a 49-35 win by Hartford. So, again, 35 points is what Fairhaven put up in the first meeting. They have 30 right now. We're in the fourth quarter. So, obviously, pretty good defensive team here Hartford is, at least against Fairhaven anyway. And Joe Buxton going to light it up for a three-pointer on that basket. And that brings us to 35-33 now. Low drive into the basket. Hartford end of the floor. Puts up the shot. Drive it into heavy traffic. Lays it up with the underhanded shot. Makes it 37-33. Hartford by four. Kai Hill to Almeida. Parker from that right corner trying for three. Yeah. Going to miss that off the rim. And Phil Bean trying to slap that one uh, loose there. I think uh, just knocked it out of bounds. Not a foul, but we have full court pressure now coming from Fairhaven. Actually, it's uh, Almeida pressuring the basketball as it is uh, inbounded. Low over the half court line. Low for three-point attempt, misses. And Wetmore getting the rebound. We might have a foul there. All right, so we do have a foul, and that will be against uh, Hartford, and that will be Noah Danielle. Danielli, I guess is the correct pronunciation. All right, inbounded by Fairhaven. Wetmore, three-point attempt. Loose ball here on the floor. Picked up by Hartford. Right on. 
Shot from the free throw line going to be a little bit short. Almeida coming up with it for Fairhaven. Down the floor to Phil Bean into the middle. That one is going to be picked off. Tyberski coming up with it for Hartford. And there's a three-point bucket. Cole Foshin just hit that one. That was a big basket coming with approaching the four-minute mark left to go here in this basketball game. Sam Kaihill, top of the Fairhaven circle. Under four minutes left to go here in the ball game. Almeida out on top. So it's Kaihill and Al Almeida over to the left side. It goes to Joe Buxton for three. Big, big basket for the Slaters. 40-36, Hartford by four with that bucket. And it is going to be stripped away. Fairhaven coming up with it. Phil Bean on the takeaway there. Good job defensively. Ball back top of the Fairhaven circle. Big opportunity right here, this possession. And they work it in underneath the Phil Bean trying to get that inside game going. There'll be a foul on that play. Brody Tyberski fouling Phil Bean. And Phil will be on the line to shoot two. Forty to thirty-six, four-point advantage. Hartford a chance to cut into that here with Bean on the free throw line. Still box out, Rude. Body up, Rude. All right, so Bean gets one of them. So we have a three-point ball game right now. We have three thirteen. We'll have to go, there's a timeout here on the floor. There's Hartford, we'll show you the clock here once again up on the wall, this is where we're at. 3.13 left to go here in the basketball game. I should use the word regulation here, 40 to 37. Advantage Hartford. Very close this entire basketball game and it looks like it's gonna stay that way right to the end. All right, coming down to our final three minutes of this basketball game. Three minutes and 13 seconds to be exact. It's going to be Hartford possession here to inbound after the timeout. Fairhaven going, looks like to a full court man-to-man -man here. Layup try, Hartford end of the floor, ends up getting knocked out of bounds. Nope, it's going to stay in play. Hartford keeps it. And there's a big bucket hit at the Hartford end of the floor. That's Christian Hathorn. Going to hit that one for three. Makes it 43-37. Phil Bean over to Jack Elmida. Ball goes to Sam Kaihill, top of the circle. Over to Buxton now. Buxton going to try for three. Off the rim, no good. Wetmore with a rebound. Back up, hits the bucket. Good play, great play. Dylan Wetmore, 43-39 with that basket. Here comes Low down the floor. Hartford working it inside, they get a shot off. Tyberski put that one up, misses. And it looks like it's gonna be an out of bounds going out off of Fairhaven. All right, so there is uh, Hartford gonna be inbounding with 154 left to go here in this basketball game. Steal by Wetmore, now Almeida with him coming down the floor. Hartford back quickly on defense.
Inside to Bean, let's see if he can get an angle there. He gets a shot off. Double team on him, can't get it to go in. And the rebound coming down to Hartford. So the Hurricanes are gonna take the uh, timeout here on the floor. And that'll bring us down to 114 left to go here in the first or fourth quarter. So we have 43-39, four point advantage for Hartford. That's a Hartford timeout. Very important, that, that is a two possession lead right there for Hartford, at least at the moment, but lots of time here with 114. All right, Phil Bean, Joe Buxton out there, Jack Almeida, Sam Kyhill, and Dylan Wetmore, the five on the floor for the Slaters. And Hartford timeout. Hartford will be inbounding it in just a moment. We have 114 left to go in the basketball game. Fairhaven down by four. Hartford using up a bunch of time here on the clock. They got the four point advantage. They just took a half a minute off the clock here. And now a foul. All right, that is, uh, well, it doesn't actually got a half a minute left here. Third, uh, fourth personal foul for Phil Bean. Now Buxton going to pick up a foul. Now Fayhaven's got to give some fouls here in order to be able to get uh, the Hartford Hurricanes back to the line. they got two team fouls right now. You're going to see a bunch more coming here. As time is running out, we're going to do this. There's another one. So 35 seconds on the clock showing. Fairhaven wants to get in position to have to put Hartford on the line if they need to do that. Actually, that I, I correct that. I was wrong on that. That is the fifth team foul. So that is the fifth team foul. So there will be a shooter on the line. Sean Dunton just uh, put up that first bucket and hit it. Makes a five-point ball game now, 44-39. And all that on the second one. Those are crucial free throws right there. He hits them both. Kai Hill, that's Buxton with it. Buxton over in that right corner, Wetmore. They try to get it in, looking uh, inside the paint underneath the bean. That one knocked out of bounds. Fairhaven should keep it. it comes down to 24 seconds left on the clock. All right, it was just about ready to be a time violation there. It's Fairhaven having trouble getting it in play. And Vadness, uh, Coach Vadness, uh, calling for the uh, timeout there from the sideline before they were going to get that time violation. So that'll leave us with 24 seconds showing on the clock left to go here in the ballgame. 45-39. Six-point advantage here for Hartford. So pretty good position to be at this uh, stage of the game. Come on, Red! 
All right, uh, timeout is over with, at least for Hartford, as they are out on the floor. Here come the Slaters. Hartford stealing that Fairhaven inbounds pass. There'll be a quick foul committed right there, as you see, by Sam Kyhill. Good D, Red. And we will go to the free throw line for a couple of Hartford shots. On the line to shoot, Christian Hathorn will shoot two. His team leading by six. Things getting pretty much out of reach at this point here for Fairhaven with just 20 seconds on the clock. They'd need a couple of three-pointers to get back into it right now. And then some free throws right here happening, which that makes it a seven-point ball game. Christian Hathorn will get one more. Makes it an eight-point ball game. 47-39. Slater's put it in play over the half-court line. And they try to find Wetmore over in that corner. That'll be a turnover. Thrown away, out of bounds. Back to Hartford with 16 seconds left. So Fairhaven back on defense, and the Hurricanes are just going to walk it or get it over the half-court line. Probably just use up what's left of the clock here. Coming down to eight seconds. Going to hang on to it and take away another win, a second win this season over Fairhaven. And big uh, cheer from the Hartford fans right here. As we see they win this one here tonight by a score of 37 to 39 over Fairhaven. Both teams shaking hands right in front of us here. A good well played game uh, here tonight and Hartford will be 15 or 16 and one with this win. They still remain undefeated in league play. They go to six and zero. Oh. Fairhaven will go to nine and eight and three and two in league play. Final score again, 47-39. Hartford remains the number one team in Division Two. All right, folks starting to fill out of the uh, gymnasium here, uh, file out of the gymnasium at Fairhaven High School as uh, we had a great game here tonight. Hartford defeating Fairhaven 47-39. Let's uh, check our stats. I want to thank Jesse Kyhill for giving us uh, the stats. Jesse was keeping the uh, book here tonight. I'll let you look at the uh, court here as we uh, read down the stats. How about we start off with uh, Fairhaven. Jack Almeida finishes up with a total of uh, uh, seven points. Uh, we'll have Dylan Wetmore with a total of four points. Uh, Andrew Barker with a total of six points. Uh, Joe Buxton with a total of six points. Phil Bean with a total of six points. So there's the scoring individually here for Fairhaven and uh, for Hartford. Uh, we have let me see Sean Dutton with a total of nine points. Uh, we had Brody Tyberski with a total of six points. Uh, Evan Linz will finish up uh, with a total of uh, four points. We have Christian Hawthorne with a total of 11 points. Kyle Foshin with a total of uh, nine points. And Braden Trombley with a total of four points. And one more, Adele Lowe with a total of four points. So there you go. That's the individual scoring stats. Again, it was Hartford 47, Fairhaven 39. Congratulations to Hartford uh, staying atop the Division II ranks with this uh, win here tonight over Fairhaven. And this has been a presentation on Pike TV at Fairhaven High School, Slater Nation. Thank you for watching.